prepare for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, with another unboxing for you guys. Um, I decided to order up something else to control my media center with in my bedroom because I used to use this. This is called a gyration control and uh, it's got a little USB dongle that comes off the back of it and uh, it's also a one gigabyte storage which I thought was kind of funny but uh, it takes a single AAA battery and it uses a gyro inside of it to move it so you basically push the button and you move the cursor around on the screen like this and then you rock your finger to the right and left the right and left click so um, pretty cool device the problem with it is you have to turn it on and off manually and if you leave it on it'll completely drain the battery in a couple of hours so I keep forgetting to turn it off when I set it down I pick it up and it's dead again so this thing is just a battery hog so to replace it I decided to get this little device which I'm going to show you right now so I ordered this off Newegg and I thought it was funny because it actually came from my store 365 so Newegg must do a lot of drop shipping now this is the first time that I've received something in the mail that didn't come in a Newegg box. So, be warned. Looks like they're starting to do like Amazon does. Let's go ahead and open this up. It's like in this nice Mylar bag. Actually, I don't think it's Mylar. It's just plastic. It's way too easy to rip. Now, this thing got excellent reviews on Newegg, but it's kind of like unbranded. I mean, I'm sure it's just some knockoff thing from China, but here you have, it's uh, basically a handheld air mouse, and uh, it's got some, you know, pictures on the box, nothing special, kind of shows you how you can use it for presentations, it has a laser pointer built into it. Um, the inner packing has multiple boxes, so it looks like there's multiple variants of this that can come in this box. None of them are checked, which is funny, uh, but let's go ahead and crack it open. I already have one of these that I've been using, so I know a little bit about this device, even before the unboxing. And so far, I really like it. The build quality on it's really nice. Um, you know, I was kind of expecting something that was a piece of crap, and it's really easy to use. Even my wife enjoys using it. So you open it up pretty standard. It comes with a, actually a really nice bag, nice little velvet bag that you can use to carry the controller in, and a charging cable, which goes from USB to like a standard DC style charging connector. Then it comes with a little dongle here, which I'm guessing is some kind of Bluetooth or 2.4 gigahertz, something like that. And the control itself. And a little instruction manual that I didn't even need. It's, it's actually quite easy to use and operate. So here's the control right here. You can see it basically has a trackball on the top that moves really nice, feels really good. It's got a scroll wheel and it's got four buttons. This button right here is for laser pointer. So. The device, when it comes, doesn't have a charge on it, so you do have to plug it in and charge it, which we'll go ahead and do right now. So just plug this into any standard USB outlet. And we should see something, okay, and it's blinking green, indicating it's charging. Now, for me, it only took a couple hours to charge, and I still haven't even gone through a full charge yet. You can see with it plugged in, it's got a laser pointer. And the way that you hold it is like this. And it's actually really, really easy to use. You just use your, your thumb to move the cursor around. And then the scroll bar right here to scroll up and down on pages. And it even has a click too, a center click. And then if you want to point at something on the screen, you just push this button for laser pointer. This button right here uh, comes defaulted to print. So if you push that, it brings up the print dialog. And then down here, you have, uh, you have a right, basically a right mouse click. And I haven't figured out, this one I think is just like the trigger. It's also the same as just a regular mouse click. But the trigger itself is the actual mouse click. And it actually has a really nice feel to it. You can push it right on the edges. You can put your finger all the way through it. It's actually really nice. And it's completely plug and play. I plugged it into the computer. It found the mouse immediately and started working. So there's absolutely no problems there. If you look down in the link uh, in the description, it'll take you right to where you can purchase this device. I think it's like 29 bucks. Um, it wasn't very expensive. And uh, I'm actually really, really happy with it. And I think you will be too. Some quick things to note is if you have greasy fingers, like you're eating uh, something that fried food and you use the ball, it will actually get down inside and you'll notice that the ball will get a little bit twitchy. So make sure that your hands are dry and clean when you're using it. And if you do make that mistake, you can actually unscrew this little piece at the top here. Um, you'll have to put like some little prongs in there. I'd use just uh, like needle nose pliers. Twist that off and then clean the rollers off on the inside. But uh, the tracking precision on it is, is very, very good. 
and like I said, it was a really small learning curve. And compared to the gyration, don't get me wrong, I like the gyration because you could just move it around like a Wiimote and click the buttons, but ultimately this is just a little bit even easier to use and it's nice because you can actually be rolling and moving the cursor while you're clicking and holding something. With the gyration, it was very, very difficult to do that. So guys, this was a simple unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you'd like to see a video on actually using the device on a screen with like screen capture and everything like that, let me know. I'd be happy to do it for you guys. But uh, right now, it's a pretty basic device. It's just a mouse cursor. You move with your thumb. And the range on it's pretty decent, too. I was able to get, uh, you know, about 12 or 13 feet away from the media center, which is actually down in a cabinet with lots of obstructions. And the device worked just fine. And it automatically puts itself to sleep when you set it down, which was the biggest plus for me. Um, so you can just pick it up and to use it, you just touch any button on it. It wakes right up and you can start moving the cursor. All right, guys. Hope this gave you a nerdgasm. Uh, another cool little gadget and gizmo for you guys. Uh, please like, favorite, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And uh, I'll start producing some more videos. I also have some other unboxings to do. Please leave your comments of what you'd like to see me do. Because um, you guys actually drive this channel quite a bit more than you probably realize. So I look forward to hearing from all of you. Please send me messages. Come to my Facebook and like it. Uh, I talk a lot on Facebook. So please, guys, if you haven't already, come over there, smash that like button, and interact with me. I really enjoy it. All right, guys, take it easy. Have a nice day.